Once again, Facebook, um, as you can probably tell by the title, this is a very serious thing that, you know, I've been getting asked a lot of, and I always keep getting, you know, judged on shit about all this, so I figured I would do a live stream and, you know, end this shit once and for all and let y'all know the truth of things, because I'm tired of seeing this shit. And being wrongly accused of shit with this. And that is why I always end up single. Well, one. Believe it or not, a couple of years ago, I was very happy with the love of my life, Christina, who I've known since high school, since her freshman year of high school, actually. We were on and off throughout high school and then finally got together a couple of years ago. Uh, and I know a lot of you are wondering, like, what happened? Like, what happened to you guys? Well, what happened to us is my now ex best friend, <clears throat> my now ex best friend Eric. I introduced, I made the mistake of introducing them, thinking that they could be friends. And for a while they were, like, they were really good friends for a while. I just saw nothing wrong with it, because you know I had introduced to some of my other exes before and you know and he treated them like family well for some reason he decided to think he thought it would be funny to you know go behind my back and stab me in the back and what he did is I didn't know but he went behind my back while I was with Christina and was talking to her that entire time and I didn't know it granted yes I know what a lot of you are gonna say I made the mistake of introducing them to each other and you're right I did but I didn't think that what he was gonna do was that I thought he was gonna treat him like everybody else and you know treat him like actual family and not try to get with them I didn't think he was gonna do what he did But, you know, it is what it is. But, another reason as to why I always end up single <clears throat> is not only because of friends, but also I know it's a pretty shitty thing to say, but what I'm about to say is completely true. Exactly. And believe it or not, I actually treated Eric like he was family. My mom even, you know, saw him as one of her kids. That's how close and that's how tight we were. Well, that's what I was saying. Um, Sorry, you know, lifesavers. But, what I'm going to tell you guys, it might sound petty to some of you, but it's completely true, for me at least. <clears throat> One of the main reasons that I end up single a lot of the times, or why I can't get with anybody, is... Naturally, because of how I look and my size. Like, I know it's a sad thing to say. I know it's a shitty thing to say, but that's how it is for me. It's mostly because of how I look and how short I am. Like, I can't control my height. As much as I wish I could, I can't. And looks wise, if I could change how I look, I probably would. Well, I could, but one, it costs thousands of fucking dollars to do that shit. And two, I've had doctors tell me that I need to get maxillofacial surgery, which is where they would take my bottom jawline right up in here 
break it and move it up. And I've discussed it many a times with my doctors, with my mom, my family. And they agree I shouldn't have to change how I look. Like, why should I change how I look or who I am for the person that I'm with? I shouldn't have to do that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I got a few bad habits just like everybody else that I'm trying to kick. Granted, they're not like anything like smoking or anything like that. They're just little, you know, petty habits. But other than that, you know, I'm a normal person. But... You know, it's sad. Every time I get dropped, I wind up finding somebody else. And this is completely true. I actually just was talking about this this morning to not only... <laughs> Smart ass. I see you, Miranda. But I was actually also just talking about this to... Not only my little sister Melissa, but also my little sister Miranda, who just made that comment, which I see, you dork ass. I see, you fucking dork. But, it seems like every time I get with somebody, I either get the person that has issues, like major issues beyond what I can help them with, or their family just does not like me, for whatever reason. And that's like, believe it or not, when, when I was with this girl who I've known from high school, Tara, like, me and her were doing really good, mom liked her, you know, we spent time together. Um, the only reason why we didn't meet up and hang out is actually because of her parents. Like, her parents did not like me for whatever reason, and I didn't even, they wouldn't even give me a chance to get to know them, and they didn't want to get to know me. And that ultimately became why we split, is because of their parents and their family. And that's how it is for me. Like, I can't help that when I'm with somebody, I can't help that their family doesn't like me. Like, y'all act like... Like, this isn't aimed at any of you guys that are, you know, watching this. This is more aimed at the people that like to talk shit. Um, like, you know, y'all think that, you know, I can do something about that. Like, I can, like, I can change who I am to make my, the one that I want to make my significant other's family like me. Well, let me tell you something. Here's a reality check for you. And I'm not meaning it to be rude. I'm just putting this out there. You know, I'm not going to change who I am for anybody. Like, I can only be myself. Alright? And yes, when I was with Christina, I can honestly say I was very happy. Because I'll admit, yes, she was my high school sweetheart. We did go to high school together. And, you know, and my mom loved her to death. Like, my mom literally, like, she wanted to see us make it. But, like I said, unfortunately, due to my ex-best friend, Eric, and not only him, but her, ultimately, her family. Like... That's why we had to split because of what he did between him stabbing me in the back and her family not liking me because of how I am. You know, we ultimately split, which, and that still does hurt to this day. To this day, it still does hurt at the fact that I, they're together. Like, that still does kill me inside. But another thing that a lot of people do not understand is that when you've been in the relationships that I've been in, you can't help but be the way you are because of those relationships. Because let me tell you, it all started actually with my ex, Heather, who I know a lot of you know by now. And if you don't, um, let me tell you a little something about that. Um, she actually wound up cheating on me several times. Um, sent, you know, certain kind of pictures to guys that she didn't even know. And this wasn't just like a one or two time thing. This was like over a period of time. 
So this is like three, four times in a row. And, and you know, after her, I got with Christina after she had left to go back home to Pennsylvania. You know, I had gotten with my now ex, Christina, and then after me and her had split because of the whole situation, that's when a lot of you who know my now ex, Rebecca Anderson, who actually was born and raised, well, not born and raised, but raised in my birth state of Alaska. She was actually raised on Kodiak Island, which is actually not that far from Anchorage, which is where I was born. I was born in Anchorage. Cold ass state. <laughs> it's funny. I was born in Alaska, but I hate the cold. But what she did was far worse than anybody has ever done to me. And that was for many months in, she had mentally abused me. And when I mean mentally abused me, I mean mentally abused me to the fullest. Like, we're talking, she would play head games with me. She would, you know, do all this fucked up stuff to screw with my head. And, you know, ultimately she would talk down on me a lot of the times. And, you know, I was so blind to it that I couldn't see what was going on. I did not know that she was mentally abusing me until ultimately not only my mom and my blood sister, Dale Lynn, let me know, but also when my friends and, you know, ultimately my street family and, well, not just my street family, but my family in general, like Miranda, Melissa, Sam, all of them had to let me know what was being done to me. And, you know, I kept on thinking in the back of my mind, you know, I got to do something. And the way that I got, I managed to escape that abusive relationship was actually I was sitting down. If you guys have not heard this song yet, I highly suggest listening to it. It's a great song. If you're going through the same kind of relationships I've gone through, like if you're into, like, you know, heavy metal, like Suicide Silence, um, Asking Alexandria, that type of music. Um, the song that I listened to that day, after they had made it aware, I was sitting down listening to, I think it was like the Black Crown, either, it was either the Black Crown album, or um, The Cleansing, like, I don't remember which album of theirs it was, but I was listening into some of Suicide Silence's music and the song Witness the Addiction came on which is an amazing, an amazing song. What up Justin? What up Phil? What up Isaiah? What up Sam? What up Angel? Um, but I was listening to that song Witness the Addiction um, by my good, my now past good friend Mitch Walker's band Suicide Silence. Um, I was listening to that and just, you know, relaxing and going through my day. And something in that song, I don't know what it was, but something in that song told me that I need to get out of there right now. So I looked at my mom. I stood up after I listened to that song. I looked at my mom and told her, I was like, do what you got to do, you know get me out of this relationship and then you know that's after many of months of trying to get out of it it was not easy let me tell you it was not easy getting out of that abusive that mentally abusing relationship it it was not easy it was honestly one of the hardest relationships I've had to escape from but because of these relationships, I'm always being labeled as somebody who bounces around or, you know, I'm always that guy that's with somebody that everybody thinks I'll never last with. Well, let me tell you something. That's not my fault that I can't last with these people. There are legit reasons as to why 
I end up single because of these people. Like, people act like it's my fault that I get hurt. People act like, you know, it's my fault that I am the way I am. How is it my fault? Like, here's my question to all of the people out there that are wondering this. Here's my question to you. How is it my fault that I got made into the person that I am today? Like, how is it my fault that I have trust issues? How is it my fault that, you know, like, I don't get, like, how any of that's my fault that I got mentally abused, that I have trust issues, that, you know, I'm always afraid of losing the person when I'm with them, and I'm always asking them, hey, what are you doing, what are you doing, who are you with? Like, you know, who is this person? Like, do I know this person? Can I trust them? Like... You know, how is that my fault that I have those issues? I didn't ask for those issues. All right? Those issues were brought on to me over time through these relationships, through what I've gone through. Like, going through those relationships made me the way I am. And I can't help that. Like, a lot of people say, oh, like, you can get over it. It's not that simple. It really is not that simple to just, you know, up and get over your problems like that. Especially when you've been in a, in a mentally abusive relationship for over six to eight months. And on top of that, I had to deal with my ex Heather's bullshit for three years. Three years of being lied to, cheated on, played, hurt and then to have it turn around then to turn around and have that similar shit happen to me not only did my best friend stabbed me in the back who I saw like my brother who I treated like family but also to have somebody mentally abuse you on top of all that that shit really does it will fuck with you it fucks with me all the time But ultimately, like, some more reasons as to why I always end up single is because a lot of people do not understand that, yes, I do live with my mom. Yes, I live at home with her, but there is a reason for that. I have to help my mom out because she cannot do very much. Especially at this point in time. Would I like to be on my own eventually? Yes, I would. But I can't. Because literally, our roommate, he goes to work during the day. Alright? He works at Eden Park down here in Ohio. Like out here in Akron. He works a lot. And for some of you that do know, some of you that don't know, my mom was recently hit by a car doing 20 to 30 miles an hour. And yes, she's okay. She's just very bruised. She cannot lift anything. She can't hardly do anything. Like, you know, and a lot of people don't get that. They don't get that, you know, I have to help my mom by doctor's orders. I can't just up and whisk away and go wherever I want. I am needed here at home. Because my mom is under doctor's orders that she is not to do anything. All right, my mom is bedridden most of the time. She can't get out and do things. As much as she wants to, she can't get out. She can't, you know, go look for a job. She can't do a lot of stuff that she wants to do. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, why don't you get a job? Well, believe it or not, my love for doing YouTube videos is slowly turning into a job for me. It's slowly turning into a career. I finally got like, I just checked this morning, I got 69 subs on my gaming channel. And I'm really hoping to push that one to where I can finally get paid. I'm right there. But that's what I do when I'm here taking care of my mom. You know, 
I do my YouTube videos, as you guys know, already know by now. And if you don't know by now, you're freaking clueless. <laughs> Either that or you just don't pay attention to Facebook at all. But on top of my YouTube videos, I do do music. I do artwork. I do custom intros, outros. You know, you name it. But ultimately, that's a very big reason as to why a lot of girls that I get with don't last with me very long because they say, oh, this guy is living at home. He must be this, this, or this. When they don't understand that I'm not here by, well, I am here by choice to a certain extent, but also I am here by doctor's orders to take care of my mom, to look after my mom, to help her out. And people just don't get that. And another very, that is a very big issue with me and being with anybody is their parents. Hold that thought, guys. I'll be right back. Sit down, chill out, relax. I'll be right back. Uh, what up guys, sorry about that. I am back. I actually had to take care of something. But, you know, like I was saying, you know, like that's actually a very big reason as to why I end up single a lot of the times. I do apologize for being gone for so long. I actually had to do something. We just recently got some new plants. So, so I had to go outside, take care of those. We actually got some onion plants and shit that I had to water. So, you know. But like I was saying, you know, like, 
It's mostly the parents that don't like me for whatever fucking reason. Like, you know, they take one look at me and they think, oh, this guy isn't good enough for you. We want you to be with somebody who's doing this and that and blah, blah, blah. But that's my little rant for that. Um, Sam, I am going to private message you. Same with you, Miranda. Same with you, Phil, because I haven't talked to your ass in a while. I need to catch up with you, bro. Um, but with that being said, guys, I have to hop off here for now. Because I have a couple more YouTube videos that I have to do. Because I am I know I'm talking about YouTube videos a lot. But that's because I'm really trying to make something out of this. And I'm trying to upload as much as I possibly can. Because I know a lot of you guys like my content. You like what I put up. I mean, I'm no slap train or anybody like that. Like, I'm no major dude, but, you know, I do what I can for those who enjoy my stuff. And also, um, a little tidbit about slap train. If you guys have not seen the new Fate of the Furious, I definitely highly, I, or I'm telling you guys, you need to check that shit out. I just watched it the other night. It is amazing. It's a great movie. And actually, he, Slap Train, my boy Slap from YouTube, he actually went down to L.A. for the screening of it. And if you guys don't know who he is, he's a major YouTuber. I will post the link to his channel in the description so y'all can check his stuff out. Um, he actually does, like, a lot of racing games and stuff. So he has to use a steering wheel and everything like that. Well, the people that actually made... The Fate of the Furious movies were actually gracious enough and awesome enough to give him the actual steering wheel out of Letty's car that they used in the new Fate of the Furious movie. They were awesome enough to give him that steering wheel to use for his gameplay videos. So I think that was really awesome, you know. He's like me, and if you guys are anything like me or him, you guys know that he's a very big fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. Um, as far as racing games go, that's ultimately what got me into, you know, racing and street racing and drifting, ultimately, was the Fast and Furious movies. I was introduced to the street racing scene by my older brother, and him having me watch the Fast and Furious movie, the first one. And then from there, it just kind of took off. And well, with that being said, guys, I gotta hop off here. I got some gameplay footage to shoot and do. Um, I hope you guys have a little bit more of an understanding. But with that being said, guys, I gotta hop off here. And like I said, those of you that said I will private message, I'm going to do that now as well. So, I'll catch you guys later, man. Yes, I've seen Death Race. I've watched them all. They are a good series. And so is the Need for Speed movie. The Need for Speed movie is definitely good. Born to Race is another good one. If you guys have not watched Born to Race, it was actually filmed around the same time as the first Fast and Furious. So, definitely check that out. Anyways, guys, I'm off of here, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.